show guys abuti moses abuti moses here 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 i'm back and today's topic i'm gonna be talking about elections and why you should vote right we are different individuals we've got different agendas we've got different needs we've got different wants but when it comes to casting a vote you should understand your vote is very powerful it puts people in power it puts organizations in power so before you vote for an organization or an individual you should ask yourself key questions is that individual reliable that's question number one question number two is that person helpful or am i voting for that person with the hope that they're gonna help me in the future so you don't have proof that they're actually helpful and they're gonna help you you just hoping when it comes to voting we don't use faith here guys three we need we need we need proof three you should ask yourself is this individual just campaigning for my vote right now where was this individual throughout the year what were they doing now that i'm gonna have to put them in power have they tried helping or offered to help yet i refused for some unknown reason right because you can't just put people in power that you don't know nothing about you just hear good things about them we are in academia guys we should think like academics right so you should ask yourself these important questions thirdly can this person actually do the work right am i voting for this person because he gave me a free t-shirt everyone can do that that organization x and organization y i'm sure you as a student you've got like 10 t-shirts free t-shirts but at the end of the day at the ballot box you make your choice because I'm voting for this individual, right? And in turn, by voting for that individual, you're voting for the organization. So you should ask yourself, does this person deserve my vote? And is the evidence to support the statements that these individuals are making? Have they been visible throughout the year? Have they been helping throughout the year? Yes, they're students first. They get stressed. They get overworked they get over everything over everything man guys i i know you can hear me right so you should ask yourself all of these questions and with voting for that individual you look at the organization has the organization been visible throughout the year or are they only campaigning now just to get my vote think like an academic what do you know about the organization you may hear, no, this organization Charles money, this organization, they are drunkards, blah, say, blah. Fine, they might be drunkards, but are they doing the work that they say that they did? Secondly, it's not organizations that chow man, it's individuals. And if those individuals chow money, they must account for chowing the money accountability i spoke about accountability a few days ago right and is the proof because you're an academic you can't say so and so child money without the proof you will go to jail for slander and tainting the person's name three what do you know about the organization if you know nothing about the organization do your research and look for proof ask for proof has that organization brought change to help the students because they are serving students right are they continually working for students i'll give you an example if you look at the obama administration in america the obama administration changed so many policies that were working against its people right and especially the african people the Obama administration fought and changed those um, policies to make sure that the human beings, 
that they are fighting for actually benefits and then thirdly don't like free things when organizations give you free things there's always strings attached you should look and listen listen to what the person is saying they say they're gonna give you this and that they're gonna help you in the future are they helping you now action look at their action are they continually helping you throughout the year when you need your test days moved are they there to help you if the class rep fails are they able to stand up for you hmm? before you cast your vote ask yourself those questions I'll give you a larger scale um, uh, example look at the state of our politics in South Africa the governing party always makes promises that they will deliver certain services and then at the end of the day they don't deliver and if you take a look the majority of the voters that the governing party that the governing party um, is relying on for votes I'm sorry for saying this but it's people from the rural areas who are not academics they don't think like academics they cast their votes from hearing not from listening not from watching I mean and they get the promises will give you free RDP houses they don't ask questions the questions they should be asking is with what money do you have the money to build those houses the second question they should be asking is why don't you give me employment so I can buy my own house and not be kept um, and not be trapped by you because as like loyalism to organizations it's kind of pointless when it comes to loyalty I don't believe you should be loyal to individuals I don't believe you should be loyal to organizations if the organization is no longer serving you leave the organization or question the organization right we are too afraid of um, confronting the people that are in power we are too afraid to confront the organizations that are in power like we are too afraid to ask questions ask those questions and see if the organization really stands for what it stands for again again we all like free things we like nice things so when okay let me take it back to school level or university level right we like Munati, the rat of John Willy Gates. Yeah, 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 John Willy Gates. Am I voting for that individual for that particular reason? They always invite me to the nice times. They always invite me to come have fun. We love fun. They always buy me drinks. We love drink. They always buy me dank. I love dank. We always giving me this and that. At the end of the day, the most important reason you vote for an individual is the work that they do to coach the NC Youth League chairperson that was addressing the students um, just a few days back. He said, organizations must serve the people and the, the, um, the organizations are always going to be remembered by the works that they do, right? So if the organization is not doing the work, it's kind of pointless for that organization to continue to govern. Don't just J. Please ask yourself those questions. Am I voting for the right candidate? Am I voting for the right organization? Please, guys, make sure that you put the right people in power. Make sure that you put the right candidates in power. Right? And then don't judge a book by its cover. Don't say I'm not gonna vote for this individual because what Tabiala. If he's drinking his money, let him drink his money and he's doing the work. Let him drink his money and do the work. Thirdly, when it comes to hearsay, don't fall for that. We are too old. Think like an academic, bruh. Before you cast your votes, ask questions. Just as much as you do when you're writing your tests and exams, or like when you study, you ask questions. That's how you get to understand stuff. Like, why? Why do they say... When I'm thirsty, I drink water. Yeah, does it work? Has it worked before? Right? Just think about that, guys. Before you cast your votes, ask questions. Ask the important and the relevant questions. 
mature. Grow up, guys. Yeah, with Moses, Kirik, John, Pulikita, Vala, John. I'm out.